Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Throughs. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is a guest video from Demolition Hound showing the newly buffed Hyzak Custom. I have always really liked the Hyzak Custom. It was one of the first things, if not the first, I think it was the first, uh, to keep its radar while scoping, which is an incredibly valuable skill for a support to have, and should probably honestly be a default for any sniper type, but... Good shot there, 6210. It did recently get buffed, and uh, I uh, I certainly don't mind it. I I feel like it, the use of it kind of dropped off to a certain extent because it is incredibly basic. It's got two weapons. And, well, it's got uh, two ranged weapons and a beam saber, and that is it. So the mega beam launcher is good. It stuns and uh, does decent damage uncharged, I believe. Pretty sure it stuns uncharged. We'll see. But it does heavy stagger when charged, so it is uh, it is a really solid and very damaging uh, main weapon for a sniper. And yeah, you can do a lot with it, uh, I think. And, you know, happy to see it get buffs. So yeah, uh, I, I, was, I would have tried to just try and sneak that shot around my allies too, but yeah, they were just too close to the edge of the building. So wisely did not take it. I might have done differently, and it would not have come out well. But yeah, like I said, Hyzak Custom, really good. And yeah, there's also uh, something... Oh yeah, I think... Okay, yeah, it's the Freak Jaeger that has the uh, spotting ability, so... Demo has a little bit of uh, knowledge on what I uh, he is shooting at, which never hurt anybody. Took out the Hildolfer there. And... Let's see, support fire incoming. Uh, the Zaku machine gun Kai that it has as a uh, sub weapon is also really good. It has, I forget whether it has 50 or 100 rounds, but it has pretty uh, substantial damage for a uh, sub weapon version of the Zaku machine gun or the Hyzak equivalent thereof. And yeah, uh, like I said, it's just it's just a pretty good suit all around. It is not particularly uh, feature-filled, and it is not particularly, uh, I in many cases, uh, the most interesting support you can use. It's definitely not the Wound Wart, which uh, is a good sniper and does a bunch of other things, but still fun. And let's see, demos back to his suit. The support fire, I don't know if it, uh, it's going to connect with anything. Doesn't look like it, but there is stuff uh, coming into range. Yes, the... Uh, Uncharged shot does stun, and yeah, that Marasai, whether whether Demo or the Ball Oak gets it, yeah, there we go, Demo got it with the machine gun, and that Marasai is toast. There's somebody underground headed in the general direction of either Demo or the base, looks like the base, uh, but whoever they are, okay, yeah, they are coming back around to uh, come after Demo, which, yeah, what, somebody... Uh, I was about to say, very likely that's going to be a raid of some kind, because realistically it should be. Yep, type disadvantage. That is uh, the Arjarja, which yeah, I don't see that very often anymore either, and it, it's another one that's quite good. It's, a, it's again, uh, probably supplanted by other raids at that cost, especially things like the uh, Nightseeker V, but, uh, but still good. I... You know, I, I am the kind of person to beat the drum of everything in the game is viable. That doesn't mean everything is the best choice. It just means that if you, you know, if you practice with that one thing, yeah, you can, you can get good results. There are still points, good kill there, where you will be at a disadvantage doing that. But again, it just, I, I don't, I don't know, I don't feel comfortable just like cutting off entire swaths of the game just because uh, something else is higher on the tier list. But that has to be up to the individual player and how they feel about it. And there are things that you are quite frankly just going to have an easier time ha uh, doing well with or getting you know really good results out of. And again, uh, Woundwort in the, in the same cost range as the Hyzak Custom probably probably easier to really wreck things with but again if you want more of a uh, of a pure sniper Isaac custom is a good choice okay perfectly timed roll by that uh, uh, enemy suit managed to uh, 
took the beam rifle shot, but did not uh, did not take any damage from it. Managed to stun uh, demo out of that shot. Yeah, they they are they are trying to make sure uh, trying to take out the sniper, which now that there's only two suits left alive, is going to be easier for them. Unfortunately, I think Demo may have just tagged the Freak Jaeger. Didn't quite have the damage to take out that low co that low health suit either. But okay, Geo Seven is. Uh, I forgot that there was a, the uh, non full armor version of the Geo Seven in the game. It's pretty good, as I recall too. Again, the roster's gotten so big it, it's hard to keep track of, which I'm I'm really not uh, upset by. So I'd, I'd rather be, you know, pleasantly surprised when my memory kicks in and I remember something's in the game. Uh, 8650 to 6175 with a couple of minutes left. That's a good position to be in. There is the Hildolfer coming. Uh, okay, yeah, coming over the edge of the roof and demo tagged it just as it uh, uh, just as it got into his range. Stop the Jarja, which yeah is going to be moving in on him. Because, as I recall, the Jarja's beam rifle is pretty good at uh, pretty good at sequential fire, so it's it's not a bad choice to stop something that you need to stop. The missiles are better, and they do a lot of damage. But yeah, luckily Demo was able to hold that at bay until it was uh, not his problem anymore. And Hildolfer about to take a shot. I think it's already dead though. Yeah. Now this is this is a, a situation where unfortunately. Demo's suit is not particularly well uh, well suited to dealing with this situation. There is a bomb. It is going. Uh, it is uh, threatening to go off. Hopefully, somebody is watching his back and getting ready to shoot whoever shoots him. If not, hopefully they will shoot that person and then jump in. Yeah, here they come. Anybody got him? Nope. Okay, that bomb is going to go off because you need at least like 12, 13 seconds to defuse it. They did get the pilot, but yeah, it's too late. So that is going to put the scores a lot more even, if not put the enemy up a little bit. Um, nope, not quite. And again, this is the danger uh, also of uh, of doing that, of planting a bomb, is you can bring the scores more even, but you can also do that by coordinating with your team and focusing fire. If that seems to be impossible in your current situation, you may as well take the chance. But yeah, you, you are often uh, better off trying trying to bring uh, the scores uh, closer together with just ordinary combat than uh, base bombing. It is really difficult to tell which is better uh, sometimes, especially since if your team is able to pull together and hold off the team down a member, it, it, you're often not down to begin with. So yeah, just d difficult call to make, but... Uh, I'd say the demos team definitely benefited from the uh, from the enemy team uh, calling it the way they did, and yeah, that is a win. And let's see, demo beat his rival. Somebody did a, the free Jaeger did 122k. So yeah, don't sleep on the level two Jaeger, six and three and ninety four thousand damage. That is really good, and I appreciate you sending the round my way demo. And that is gonna do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation Two. We will be back soon with more. Until next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! Okay, so the specifics of the Hyzak Customs buffs. Uh, it now has anti-jamming level 1. It's gotten another level of high-performance scope, so it can zoom in further than uh, it previously could. At level 3, and I'm pretty sure Demo is playing level 2 here, uh, it gets two extra part slots, went from six to eight in close range, uh, 13 to 15 in mid range and 21 to 23 in long range. So that should be pretty solid. Uh, the heat on the, uh, beam launcher, uh, was reduced. It's now 70% per uncharged shot instead of 75. It also is quicker on the overheat. Uh, 15 seconds went to 12 seconds. Uh, increased charge power, and at the level 2, the uh, power of uncharged shots went from 2415 to 2500, which, not a huge increase, but also, uh, uh, since you uh, have plenty enough slots to stack a lot of ranged mod on there, you can definitely uh, lean into that. Zaku Machine Gun Custom, starting at level uh, 2, went from power 105 to power 120. 
so yeah, it is definitely, it's definitely stronger than it was and, uh, nothing wrong with that. Uh, okay. So the average win for, uh, the average, uh, support type average for win rate is 52.1% at, uh, cost 450. Uh, 47.3 is what the Hyzak custom had. Uh, rival win rates 51.1 on average. Hyzak custom was doing 46. Uh, damage dealt 64k is the uh, uh, is the average uh, damage dealt. Uh, 60,600 is what the Hyzak custom was doing. It was actually uh, dying less often at uh, this cost. Uh, 2.9 MS lost on average for supports. Uh, 2.8 for the Hyzak custom. At level 2, a little bit, uh, um, I guess about the same kind of uh, level of disparity because the average is a percentage point lower and so is the uh, win rate for the Hyzak custom, 51 versus 46. Uh, same, a similar spread, slightly better wi- rival win by about two tenths of a percent at, and a lower average to live up to. So yeah, level two in some ways was not doing as badly. Uh, it had about the same damage dealt as the 450 though. And the average for support at level uh, at 500 is 70,000. So that is, that is uh, fairly substantial. Also, it was however, like almost a, an entire half mobile suit an entire half mobile suit. Uh, it was 2.6 uh, average MS lost versus the uh, support type average of 3.0. So yeah, less likely to die. At level three at 550 though, yeah, it was struggling more. Uh, 44% uh, cent win rate versus a f- even 50% for support type average. Rival win was down to 35% where the support type average is 48% at 550. And interestingly, uh, support damage on average is down from uh, uh, from 500. It's only 69,457 instead of 70,390. And the Hyzak Customs damage was way down, 49,059. Uh, MS loss was spot on at, th- at three on average, though. Uh Interestingly, I, I think that damage is interesting, but I think what really kind of cover of uh, what causes that and is the fact that uh, uh, 550 is about when really beam intensive mobile suits start to become common. And so, yeah, I, I know that when I'm building for beam defense or when I'm building for defense, I'm much more likely to build for beam defense at 550 and up than uh than at lower costs. Like a four, 450 to 500, it can kind of go either way. Below 400, I'm much more likely to build for ballistic and 550 and up. Yeah, I, if I can lean into beam defense, I usually do because there are things that can just absolutely destroy you. And uh, if you're not built for beam defense, the Hyzak Custom would be one of them, but yeah. So it'll be interesting to see, uh, look back in a month and see what the adjustments have done. Hopefully, hopefully better than 49 K cause geez. 